The word of the Lord which came to Hosea the son of Beeri, during the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, and during the days of Jeroboam the son of Josh, king of Israel. When the Lord first spoke through Hosea, the Lord said to Hosea, Go, take for yourself a wife inclined to infidelity, and children of infidelity, for the land commits flagrant infidelity, abandoning the Lord. So he went and took Gomer the daughter of Deblame, and she conceived and bore him a son. And the Lord said to him, Name him Jezreel, for in just a little while I will punish the house of Jehu for the bloodshed of Jezreel, and I will put an end to the kingdom of the house of Israel. On that day I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. Then she conceived again and gave birth to a daughter. And the Lord said to him, Name her Loruhama, for I will no longer take pity on the house of Israel, that I would ever forgive them. But I will take pity on the house of Judah and save them by the Lord their God, and will not save them by bow, sword, battle, horses, or horsemen. When she had weaned Loruhama, she conceived and gave birth to a son. 9 And the Lord said, Name him Loami, because you are not my people, and I am not your God. Yet the number of the sons of Israel will be like the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured or counted, and in the place where it is said to them, You are not my people, it will be said to them, You are the sons of the living God. And the sons of Judah and the sons of Israel will be gathered together, and they will appoint for themselves one leader, and they will go up from the land, for the day of Jezreel will be great. Say to your brothers, Ami, and to your sisters, Ruhama. Dispute with your mother, dispute, because she is not my wife, and I am not her husband, but she must remove her infidelity from her face and her adultery from between her breasts. Otherwise, I will strip her naked and expose her as on the day she was born. I will also make her like a wilderness, make her like desert land, and put her to death with thirst. Also, I will take no pity on her children, because they are children of infidelity. For their mother has committed prostitution, she who conceived them has acted shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers, who give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flax, my oil and my drink. Therefore, behold, I will obstruct her way with thorns, and I will build a stone wall against her so that she cannot find her paths. And she will pursue her lovers, but she will not reach them, and she will seek them, but will not find them. Then she will say, I will go back to my first husband, because it was better for me then than now. Yet she does not know that it was I myself who gave her the grain, the new wine, and the oil, and lavished on her silver and gold, which they used for Baal. Therefore, I will take back my grain at harvest time and my new wine in its season. I will also take away my wool and my flax that I gave to cover her nakedness. So now I will uncover her lewdness before the eyes of her lovers, and no one will rescue her from my hand. I will also put an end to all her joy, her feasts, her new moons, her sabbaths, and all her festivals. And I will destroy her vines and fig trees, of which she said, They are my wages for prostitution which my lovers have given me. And I will turn them into a forest, and the animals of the field will devour them. I will punish her for the days of the Baals when she used to offer sacrifices to them and adorn herself with her nose ring and jewelry, and follow her lovers, so that she forgot me, declares the Lord. Therefore, behold, I am going to persuade her, bring her into the wilderness, and speak kindly to her. Then I will give her her vineyards from there, and the valley of Acre as a door of hope. And she will respond there as in the days of her youth, as in the day when she went up from the land of Egypt. And it will come about on that day, declares the Lord, that you will call me my husband and no longer call me my Baal. 
For I will remove the names of the Baals from her mouth, so that they will no longer be mentioned by their names. On that day I will also make a covenant for them with the animals of the field, the birds of the sky, and the crawling things of the ground. And I will eliminate the bow, the sword, and war from the land, and will let them lie down in safety. I will betroth you to me forever, yes, I will betroth you to me in righteousness and in justice, in favor and in compassion. And I will betroth you to me in faithfulness. Then you will know the Lord. And it will come about on that day that I will respond, declares the Lord. I will respond to the heavens, and they will respond to the earth. And the earth will respond to the grain, to the new wine, and to the oil, and they will respond to Jezreel. I will sow her for myself in the land. I will also have compassion on her who had not obtained compassion, and I will say to those who were not my people, You are my people. And they will say, You are my God. Then the Lord said to me, Go again, love a woman who is loved by her husband, yet is committing adultery, as the Lord loves the sons of Israel, though they turn to other gods and love raisin cakes. So I purchased her for myself for fifteen shekels of silver, and a homer and a lethek of barley. Then I said to her, You shall live with me for many days. You shall not play the prostitute, nor shall you have another man, so I will also be toward you. For the sons of Israel will live for many days without a king or leader, without sacrifice or memorial stone, and without ephod or household idols. 5. Afterward the sons of Israel will return and seek the Lord their God and David their king, and they will come trembling to the Lord and to his goodness in the last days. Listen to the word of the Lord, you sons of Israel, because the Lord has a case against the inhabitants of the land, for there is no faithfulness, nor loyalty, nor knowledge of God in the land. There is oath-taking, denial, murder, stealing, and adultery. They employ violence, so that bloodshed follows bloodshed. Therefore the land mourns, and everyone who lives in it languishes along with the animals of the field and the birds of the sky, and even the fish of the sea disappear. Yet let no one find fault, and let no one rebuke, for your people are like those who contend with a priest. So you will stumble by day, and the prophet also will stumble with you by night, and I will destroy your mother. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Since you have rejected knowledge, I also will reject you from being my priest. Since you have forgotten the law of your God, I also will forget your children. The more they multiplied, the more they sinned against me, I will change their glory into shame. They feed on the sin of my people, and long for their wrongdoing. And it will be, like people, like priest, so I will punish them for their ways and repay them for their deeds. They will eat, but not have enough, they will play the prostitute, but not increase, because they gave up devoting themselves to the Lord. Infidelity, wine, and new wine take away the understanding. My people consult their wooden idol, and their diviner's wand informs them for a spirit of infidelity has led them astray, and they have been unfaithful, departing from their God. They offer sacrifices on the tops of the mountains and burn incense on the hills, under oak, poplar, and terebinth, because their shade is pleasant. Therefore your daughters play the prostitute, and your brides commit adultery. I will not punish your daughters when they play the prostitute, or your brides when they commit adultery, because the men themselves slip away with the prostitutes and offer sacrifices with temple prostitutes, so the people without understanding are ruined. Though you, Israel, play the prostitute, Judah must not become guilty, also you are not to go to Gilgal, nor go up to beth -Avon and take the oath, as the Lord lives. Since Israel is stubborn like a stubborn cow, Will the Lord now pasture them like a lamb in a large field? 
Ephraim is allied with idols, leave him alone. Their liquor is gone, they prostitute themselves continually, their rulers dearly love shame. The wind wraps them in its wings, and they will be put to shame because of their sacrifices. Hear this, you priests. Pay attention, house of Israel. Listen, you of the house of the king. For the judgment applies to you, because you have been a trap at Mizpah, and a net spread out on Tabor. And the rebels have gone deep in depravity, but I will discipline all of them. I know Ephraim and Israel is not hidden from me, because now, Ephraim, you have been unfaithful, Israel has defiled itself. Their deeds will not allow them to return to their God. For a spirit of infidelity is within them, and they do not know the Lord. Moreover, the pride of Israel testifies against him, and Israel and Ephraim stumble in their wrongdoing, Judah also has stumbled with them. They will go with their flocks and herds to seek the Lord, but they will not find him, he has withdrawn from them. They have dealt treacherously with the Lord, for they have given birth to illegitimate children. Now the new moon will devour them with their land. Blow the horn in Gibeah, and the trumpet in Ramah. Sound an alarm at beth Aven, behind you, Benjamin. Ephraim will become a desolation in the day of rebuke, among the tribes of Israel I make known what is trustworthy. The leaders of Judah have become like those who displace a boundary marker, on them I will pour out my anger like water. Ephraim is oppressed, broken by judgment, because he was determined to follow man's command. Therefore I am like a moth to Ephraim, and like rottenness to the house of Judah. When Ephraim saw his sickness, and Judah his sore, Ephraim then went to Assyria and sent word to King Jareb. But he is unable to heal you, or to cure you of your sore. For I will be like a lion to Ephraim and like a young lion to the house of Judah. I, yes I, will tear to pieces and go away, I will carry away, and there will be no one to rescue. I will go away and return to my place until they acknowledge their guilt and seek my face, in their distress they will search for me. Come, let's return to the Lord. For he has torn us, but he will heal us, he has wounded us, but he will bandage us. He will revive us after two days, he will raise us up on the third day, that we may live before him. So let's learn, let's press on to know the Lord. His appearance is as sure as the dawn, and he will come to us like the rain, as the spring rain waters the earth. What shall I do with you, Ephraim? What shall I do with you, Judah? For your loyalty is like a morning cloud, and like the dew which goes away early. Therefore I have cut them in pieces by the prophets, I have slain them by the words of my mouth, and the judgments on you are like the light that shines. For I desire loyalty rather than sacrifice, and the knowledge of God rather than burnt offerings. But like Adam they have violated the covenant, there they have dealt treacherously with me. Gilead is a city of wrongdoers, tracked with bloody footprints. And as a band of robbers lie in wait for a person, so a band of priests murder on the way to Shechem, certainly they have committed an act of infamy. In the house of Israel I have seen a horrible thing, Ephraim's infidelity is there, Israel has defiled itself. Also, Judah, there is a harvest appointed for you, when I restore the fortunes of my people. When I would heal Israel, the wrongdoing of Ephraim is uncovered, and the evil deeds of Samaria, for they practice deception, the thief enters, a band of robbers attack outside. And they do not consider in their hearts that I remember all their wickedness. Now their deeds surround them, they are before my face. With their wickedness they make the king happy, and the officials with their lies. They are all adulterers, 
like an oven heated by the baker, who stops stoking the fire from the time the dough is kneaded until it is leavened. On the day of our king, the officials became sick with the heat of wine, he stretched out his hand with scoffers. For their hearts are like an oven as they approach their plotting, their anger smolders all night, in the morning it burns like flaming fire. All of them are hot like an oven, and they consume their rulers, all their kings have fallen. None of them calls on me. Ephraim is himself thrown about with the nations, Ephraim has become a round loaf not turned over. Strangers devour his strength, yet he does not know it, gray hairs also are sprinkled on him, yet he does not know it. Though the pride of Israel testifies against him, yet they have not returned to the Lord their God, nor have they sought him, despite all this. So Ephraim has become like a gullible dove, without sense, they call to Egypt, they go to Assyria. When they go, I will spread my net over them, I will bring them down like the birds of the sky. I will discipline them in accordance with the proclamation to their assembly. Woe to them, for they have strayed from me. Destruction is theirs, for they have rebelled against me. I would redeem them, but they have spoken lies against me. And they do not cry to me from their heart when they wail on their beds, for the sake of grain and new wine they assemble themselves, they turn against me. Although I trained and strengthened their arms, yet they devise evil against me. They turn, but not upward, they are like a loose bow, their officials will fall by the sword because of the insolence of their tongue. This will be their derision in the land of Egypt. Put the trumpet to your lips. Like an eagle the enemy comes against the house of the Lord, because they have violated my covenant and rebelled against my law. They cry out to me, My God, we of Israel know you. Israel has rejected the good, the enemy will pursue him. They have set up kings, but not by me, they have appointed officials, but I did not know it. With their silver and gold they have made idols for themselves, so that they will be eliminated. He has rejected your calf, Samaria, saying, My anger burns against them. How long will they be incapable of innocence? For from Israel comes even this. A craftsman made it, so it is not God, assuredly, the calf of Samaria will be broken to pieces. For they sow wind and they harvest a storm. The standing grain has no kernels, it yields no grain. If it were to yield, strangers would swallow it. Israel has been swallowed up, they are now among the nations like a vessel in which no one delights. For they have gone up to Assyria, like a wild donkey all alone, Ephraim has paid fees for lovers. Even though they pay for allies among the nations, I will gather them up now, and they will begin to diminish because of the burden of the king of officials. Since Ephraim has multiplied altars for sin, they have become altars of sinning for him. Though I wrote for him ten thousand precepts of my law, they are regarded as a strange thing. As for my sacrificial gifts, they sacrifice the flesh and eat it, but the Lord has taken no delight in them. Now he will remember their guilt and punish them for their sins, they will return to Egypt. For Israel has forgotten his Maker and built palaces, and Judah has multiplied fortified cities, but I will send a fire on its cities, and it will consume its palatial buildings. Do not rejoice, Israel, with jubilation like the nations. For you have been unfaithful, abandoning your God. You have loved the earnings of unfaithfulness on every threshing floor. Threshing floor and wine press will not feed them, and the new wine will fail them. They will not remain in the Lord's land, but Ephraim will return to Egypt, and in Assyria they will eat unclean food. They will not pour out drink offerings of wine to the Lord, nor will their sacrifices please Him. 
Their bread will be to them like mourner's bread, all who eat it will be defiled, because their bread will be for themselves alone, it will not enter the house of the Lord. What will you do on the day of the appointed festival and on the day of the feast of the Lord? For behold, they will be gone because of destruction, Egypt will gather them together, Memphis will bury them. Weeds will take possession of their treasures of silver, thorns will be in their tents. The days of punishment have come, the days of retribution have come, let Israel know this. The prophet is a fool, the inspired person is insane, because of the grossness of your wrongdoing, and because your hostility is so great. Ephraim was a watchman with my God, a prophet, yet the snare of a bird catcher is in all his ways, and there is only hostility in the house of his God. They are deeply depraved as in the days of Gibeah, he will remember their guilt, he will punish their sins. I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness, I saw your forefathers as the earliest fruit on the fig tree in its first season. But they came to Balpeor and devoted themselves to shame, and they became as detestable as that which they loved. As for Ephraim, their glory will fly away like a bird, no birth, no pregnancy, and no conception. Though they bring up their children, yet I will bereave them of their children until not a person is left. Yes, woe to them indeed when I depart from them. Ephraim, as I have seen, is planted in a pasture like Tyre, but Ephraim is going to bring out his children for slaughter. Give to them, Lord, what will you give? Give them a miscarrying womb and dried up breasts. All their evil is at Gilgal, indeed, I came to hate them there. Because of the wickedness of their deeds I will drive them out of my house. I will no longer love them, all their leaders are rebels. Ephraim is stricken, their root is dried up, they will produce no fruit. Even though they give birth to children, I will put to death the precious ones of their womb. My God will reject them because they have not listened to him, and they will be wanderers among the nations. Israel is a luxuriant vine, he produces fruit for himself. The more his fruit, the more altars he made, the richer his land, the better he made the memorial stones. Their heart is deceitful, now they must suffer for their guilt. The Lord will break down their altars and destroy their memorial stones. Certainly now they will say, We have no king, for we do not revere the Lord. As for the king, what can he do for us? They speak mere words, with worthless oaths they make covenants, and judgment sprouts like poisonous weeds in the furrows of the field. The inhabitants of Samaria will fear for the calf of beth -Avon. Indeed, its people will mourn for it, and its idolatrous priests will cry out over it, over its glory, since it has left it. The thing itself will be brought to Assyria as a gift of tribute to King Jareb, Ephraim will be seized with shame, and Israel will be ashamed of its own plan. Samaria will be destroyed with her king, like a twig on the surface of the water. Also the high places of Avon, the sin of Israel, will be destroyed, thorns and thistles will grow on their altars, then they will say to the mountains, Cover us. And to the hills, Fall on us. Since the days of Gibeah you have sinned, Israel, there they stand. Will the battle against the sons of injustice not overtake them in Gibeah? When it is my desire, I will discipline them and the peoples will be gathered against them when they are bound for their double guilt. Ephraim is a trained heifer that loves to thresh, and I passed over her lovely neck, I will harness Ephraim, Judah will plow, Jacob will harrow for himself. Sow for yourselves, with a view to righteousness, harvest in accordance with kindness. Break up your uncultivated ground, for it is time to seek the Lord until He comes and rains righteousness on you. You have plowed wickedness, you have harvested injustice, you have eaten the fruit of lies. 
Because you have trusted in your way, in your many warriors, fourteen an uproar will arise among your people, and all your fortresses will be destroyed, as Shalman destroyed Beth Arbel on the day of battle, when mothers were slaughtered with their children. So it will be done to you at Bethel because of your great wickedness. At dawn the king of Israel will be completely destroyed. When Israel was a youth I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. The more they called them, the more they went away from them, they kept sacrificing to the Baals and burning incense to idols. Yet it is I who taught Ephraim to walk, I took them in my arms, but they did not know that I healed them. I pulled them along with cords of a man, with ropes of love, and I became to them as one who lifts the yoke from their jaws, and I bent down and fed them. They will not return to the land of Egypt, but Assyria, he will be their king because they refuse to return to me. And the sword will whirl against their cities, and will destroy their oracle priests and consume them, because of their counsels. So my people are determined to turn from me. Though they call them to the one on high, none at all exalts him. How can I give you up, Ephraim? How can I surrender you, Israel? How can I make you like Adma? How can I treat you like Zeboim? My heart is turned over within me, all my compassions are kindled. I will not carry out my fierce anger, I will not destroy Ephraim again. For I am God and not a man, the Holy One in your midst, and I will not come in wrath. They will walk after the Lord, he will roar like a lion, indeed he will roar, and his sons will come trembling from the west. They will come trembling like birds from Egypt, and like doves from the land of Assyria, and I will settle them in their houses, declares the Lord. Ephraim surrounds me with lies and the house of Israel with deceit, Judah is still unruly against God, even against the Holy One who is faithful. Ephraim feeds on wind, and pursues the east wind continually, he multiplies lies and violence. Moreover, he makes a covenant with Assyria, and oil is brought to Egypt. The Lord also has a case against Judah, and will punish Jacob according to his ways, he will repay him according to his deeds. In the womb he took his brother by the heel, and in his mature strength he contended with God. Yes, he wrestled with the angel and prevailed, he wept and implored his favor. He found him at Bethel, and there he spoke with us. And the Lord, the God of armies, the Lord is his name. So as for you, return to your God, maintain kindness and justice, and wait for your God continually. A merchant, in whose hands are fraudulent balances, loves to exploit. And Ephraim said, I have certainly become rich, I have found wealth for myself, in all my labors they will find in me no wrongdoing, which would be sin. But I have been the Lord your God since the land of Egypt, I will make you live in tents again, as in the days of the appointed festival. I have also spoken to the prophets, and I provided many visions, and through the prophets I spoke in parables. Is there injustice in Gilead? Certainly they are worthless. In Gilgal they sacrifice bulls, yes, their altars are like stone heaps beside the furrows of a field. Now Jacob fled to the land of Aram, and Israel worked for a wife, and for a wife he kept sheep. But by a prophet the Lord brought Israel up from Egypt, and by a prophet he was protected. Ephraim has provoked God to bitter anger, so his Lord will leave his guilt for bloodshed on him and bring his disgrace back to him. When Ephraim spoke, there was trembling. He exalted himself in Israel, but through Baal he incurred guilt and died. And now they sin more and more, and make for themselves cast metal images, idols skillfully made from their silver, all of them the work of craftsmen. They say of them, Let the people who sacrifice kiss the calves. 
Therefore they will be like the morning cloud and like dew which soon disappears, like chaff which is blown away from the threshing floor, and like smoke from a chimney. Yet I have been the Lord your God since the land of Egypt, and you are not to know any God except me, for there is no Savior besides me. I cared for you in the wilderness, in the land of drought. As they had their pasture, they became satisfied, and as they became satisfied, their heart became proud, therefore they forgot me. So I will be like a lion to them, like a leopard I will lie in wait by the wayside. I will confront them like a bear deprived of her cubs, and I will tear open their chests, I will also devour them there like a lioness, as a wild animal would tear them to pieces. It is to your own destruction, Israel, that you are against me, against your help. Where then is your king, that he might save you in all your cities, and your judges, to whom you said, Give me a king and princes? I gave you a king in my anger, and took him away in my wrath. The guilt of Ephraim is wrapped up, his sin is stored up. The pains of childbirth come on him, he is not a wise son, for it is not the time that he should delay at the opening of the womb. Shall I ransom them from the power of Sheol? Shall I redeem them from death? Death, where are your thorns? Sheol, where is your sting? Compassion will be hidden from my sight. Though he flourishes among the reeds, an east wind will come, the wind of the Lord coming up from the wilderness, and his fountain will become dry and his spring will dry up, it will plunder his treasury of every precious article. 16 Samaria will pay the penalty for her guilt, because she has rebelled against her God. They will fall by the sword, their children will be slaughtered, and their pregnant women will be ripped open. Return, Israel, to the Lord your God, for you have stumbled because of your wrongdoing. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all guilt and receive us graciously, so that we may present the fruit of our lips. Assyria will not save us, we will not ride on horses, nor will we say again, Our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds mercy. I will heal their apostasy, I will love them freely, because my anger has turned away from them. I will be like the dew to Israel, he will blossom like the lily, and he will take root like the cedars of Lebanon. His shoots will sprout, his majesty will be like the olive tree, and his fragrance like the cedars of Lebanon. Those who live in his shadow will again raise grain, and they will blossom like the vine. His fame will be like the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more have I to do with idols? It is I who answer and look after you. I am like a luxuriant juniper, from me comes your fruit. Whoever is wise, let him understand these things, whoever is discerning, let him know them. For the ways of the Lord are right, and the righteous will walk in them, but wrongdoers will stumble in them.